So welcome to part two of ETCS Bites Back. We're going to be looking at levels of supervision. And we're going to be concentrating on the first of the ETCS levels. So like all ETCS supervision, level one is concerned with how far the train can travel and how fast it can travel over that journey. So level one is a way of transmitting the information to the train. But how is that achieved? How does the train know how fast it can travel and how far? We need to find a mechanism for transmitting the information from the trackside to the ETCS on board. And that can be either through beacons or loops or belizes. For a lot of national ATP or automatic train protection systems, this method of transmitting information is quite familiar. And that makes upgrading to ETCS level one a bit simpler in terms of concept. So for ETCS, the prime use is via a Belize. A Belize is a device mounted between the rails and it is powered up by a radio signal transmitted from the train in the box at the top. That telepowering of the Belize causes it to energize and then start transmitting the relevant message. And that message is received by the onboard and translated to form a movement authority saying how far, how fast the train can travel from that particular location. So when is this information available? Well, only when you go over a Belize group. So it is at set points on the railway and those have to be designed in. But what's the disadvantage? Well, if anything changes after the information has been transmitted, well, it's just tough. The train won't get any more information until it reaches one of the other Belizes on the track. So in order for the driver to drive the train, they're going to probably need some more information. Whilst the ETCS will be able to tell them how fast they were able to travel and, and how far, it won't tell them how far they are allowed to travel now. And so they will still need signals. The signal displayed at the trackside is the authority for the driver to proceed. It is actually the prime information with ETCS supervising in the background. Although it does display some information to the driver to support them in the driving task. So quite often you'll find that you uh, as a driver are approaching or sitting at a green signal, but the ETCS is saying stop because it hasn't received any new information. So our question is, how do we get far enough forward that the ETCS can read the beliefs typically placed at that signal? So if we're starting a new journey, the driver has got in, entered some data, and the train is now ready to start. They look out of the window and they can see the green signal. It is time to begin the journey. But at this point, the ETCS has no information. So the driver has to take on the responsibility of driving the train for those first few metres until it passes the signal and reads the Belize. To do this, when the driver say they are ready to start, the ETCS switches to a mode called staff responsible. And in staff responsible, ETCS allows the driver to drive the train, but it does restrict their maximum speed. Because in staff responsible, the driver is meant to be checking the line ahead is clear and safe to proceed into. At the point that the train can read the first of the Belize's, then ETCS will have the information about how far and how fast the train may travel. And so it will take over supervision. So the first movement authority will receive will tell us how far we can travel. And initially that will end at a red or stop signal. So ETCS is supervising the distance to that stop signal. But the signal is now green. It has changed. The driver may be able to see that, but the ETCS will still be forcing them to slow down, ready to stop. And there are two options that ETCS can provide. 
the driver can drive right up to the signal and then at a low release speed pass the signal to enable the Belize to be read. The release speed is set in the movement authority leading up to the stop signal. Alternatively, the track side can use extra Belize's, known as infill Belize's, to send the information on the approach to the red signal. These could be four to six hundred metres on the approach so that a train does not need to slow down so much. So what is the advantage of level one? Well, level one is very similar to many automatic train protection systems in use on European railways. It provides intermittent transmission from trackside components controlled by the existing signalling. In ETSS level one, the Belize's are connected to the signals and the control systems for those signals. The message reflects the aspect displayed. It is a familiar technology and the operational rules are consistent. 